Hey, everybody. This is BBAD Radio. I am one of your co-hosts, Lorraine. And I guess you all know we're going to have the Banana Man here very shortly, Casey Turner, the third evicted house guest from Big Brother 11. So let's get started, and let me introduce my amazing co-host, Erica. Hello, guys. Erica, Lorraine? Yes. yes. Casey. Ladies, what's up? Welcome, Casey. Casey. What's happening? Welcome to um, our show, BBAD Radio. We are on live, and I am so upset to be talking to you today. Um, you know, I'm I, I'm not real happy about it myself, but uh, you know, things happen, and uh, I appreciate the support. Absolutely, you have a lot of support out there, Casey. Well, that's you that's me. Do. Obviously, I haven't been quote unquote out there in, in quite some time, but uh, right. it's it's nice to hear that uh, that uh, the reviews have been mostly good. Very good. Absolutely. Thank you. So, Casey, um, it's been less than 24 hours um, after the show, and I'm sure you've got some feedback from um, the other interviews you've done. Natalie tells you she's not 18, she's 24. Yep. Um, you also know that Michelle has a Ph.D. Mm-hmm. And... Yeah. Like, there was some stuff that was being held back, and was there a story between you and Jesse, like you knew each other beforehand? Um, Jesse and I had crossed paths, and that's really about all it was. Um, I uh, I do a, a Sunday gig, man, out in St. Pete, and uh, he stopped by one day, and I let him judge the contest, and he left. And really, that was about it. I mean, he did some push-ups, a little push-up thing, man. And literally less than 10 minutes of conversation that we had. I, that's what I, I thought. See. There wasn't much of a um, relationship, quote unquote. Um, um, we like never sat down. We never sat down and had a meal or anything like that. Um, you know, some of the stuff that came up though that I heard. Uh, you know, Natalie being 24 instead of 18. I think that's probably pretty smart on her part. Um, she can play the, uh, though she's not innocent, but she can play that, uh, that whole young thing up. I know, had I known she was 24, I would have went on off on her last night worse than I did. You know, she did, she did, she did got the business in my eviction speech. Um, Michelle having a PhD, I don't think that changes much, at least not for me. I mean, she was a scientist. She's a scientist. You know, she's a scientist. Um, you know, that might mean she's a little sharper than maybe I gave her credit for, but, um, I don't know if she's acting uh, about her emotional issues that she appears to have. <laughs> yeah, we noticed that. Um, um, I mean, this is. I'm sorry. Go right ahead. No, no, you guys are cracking up a little bit. I'm sorry. Um, no, uh, you know, I started to approach her and 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 preface every conversation with, "Did you take your meds today?" <laughs> we wondered that too. Yeah, um, she seems a little unstable, man, and she kind of walks around in a little zone, man, and I know that now explains, she got all mad at me one night, she freaked out and said I was being abrasive or something like that, when really I was just trying to talk to her, you know, she's like, I had already, you know, you asked me if I had a PhD, I felt like you were my dad, and you asked me a bunch of questions, and I'm sorry I went off on you, but, you know, I'd already told you, I was like, well, I'm sorry I didn't memorize 13 people's life story the first night, you know, so that that, that kind of explains a lot. It was um, Casey, this is Lorraine, and I want to tell you this is bittersweet for me because I am a big fan, but I'm happy to be talking to you. And uh, I think you were so, so good in the house. Your entertainment value was tremendous, and we love the interaction between you and Jeff. And uh, sorry, first of all, I just wanted to say sorry that you're not there anymore. No, no, thank you for thank you for the kind words, man. Uh, I had a good time sitting around with Jeff, so I'm glad that it was appreciated, man. But but thank you so much. I appreciate that. Absolutely. And I did now I want to ask you, I hope it's I hope it's not difficult for you to talk about, but I was really upset with Ronnie questioning your position as a teacher and um I think you handled it very well. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. You know, I think he was doing that, honestly, to get me to fly off the handle. Um, and I had decided, uh, I started to make his life miserable, you know, b- between the three of us and the Internet, and just decided that it, it would give him too much power over me if I'd done that. You know, I teach my kids at school, you know, if someone's picking at you and they make you mad and they make you go off, then they're controlling you. You're not controlling your own emotions anymore. So I had that in the back of my mind. 
Um, that being said, you know, he said some of that stuff up in the HOH room uh, the second week. And, you know, I've got a midlife crisis, and, I, and I'm not, he doesn't respect me as an educator. You know, and I told him, first of all, you know, I'm not having a midlife crisis. I've been tilting my hat to the side since 1985, okay? I came up with the Beastie Boys, and I've been, I've had this kind of swagger and style for, you know, 25 years, dude. So, so easy with the midlife crisis. Or, as I said in my banana suit, a mid-ripe crisis. <laughs> Anyway, but no, the teaching thing, um, no, I addressed it. I called him uh, one of the few nights right before, you know, uh, I don't know, Monday or Tuesday night. And I was like, look, bro, I said, I just need to say something to you. I said, I don't appreciate you questioning me that. Well, I just don't think that, you know, the things that you do outside the house are, 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 are appropriate for teachers. You go clubbing and you go to have a bikini contest and, and you use every curse word in the book. And I was like, you know, dude. You know, uh, if George Bush can do what he did and be the president, I ought to be okay dropping a few curse words. You know what I mean? Um, If I want to, if I want to take my wife dancing on a Friday night, bro, I can take her dancing at any nightclub I want. You know, I'm uh, I'm over 21. You know, I don't know if you heard that, but uh, you know, I'm not doing anything that that, that, that's 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 wrong to society. You know, so I cuss. I don't cuss in the classroom. I mean, I I know a lot of people who have professional jobs: accountants, doctors, lawyers, judges, presidents and teachers who don't exactly act the same during the day as they do. I don't dress the same on Saturday and Sunday that I dress Monday through Friday. That's just how it is. And if I want to have a glass of wine and smoke a cigarette, by God, it's legal. I can have a glass of wine and smoke a cigarette. Absolutely. Bravo. Not only that, Casey, but I don't know if you're aware of this, but um, I don't even think he is a teacher. No, when, and I said that. I was like, at least I'm really a teacher, bro. He's like, I'm a teacher. I don't think he's a teacher, man. I don't even know no. if that was his wife, and I think he had a, a a stunt cat take that picture with that woman who was ever in that picture. <laughs> a stunt. Unfortunately, you'll, you'll be able to see that that is, that is her. And I mean, I just it's a, a stunt cat. That yeah. was pretty funny. <laughs> 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 oh, You'll get well, some I think you handled it. I think you handled it beautifully, Casey. And um, you know, I also really liked your eviction speech last night. And uh, a lot of people I was, did. A lot of people did. And I want. I hope you know this. I don't know if anybody's told you, you Casey. You do have a ton of fans out there. You do. I, I. I know a lot of. We have a. We have a chat that goes along with our show, and they're all. You know. Let please let him know he has 